as aloof and snobby as he's uh, ever been. The thing is, I don't think about Sarah Palin. <laughs> And he's so still 2008. It's, that's pretty offensive. <laughs> Who the heck does he think he is? Moses? God? Uh um, through Palin, it seemed as if the dark spirits that had long been lurking on the edges of the modern Republican Party, xenophobia, anti-intellectualism, paranoid conspiracy theories, and antipathy toward black and brown folks were finding their way to center stage. A promised land by Barack Obama. Uh, deeply offensive to me, but uh, I would think more so to you. Governor Palin, what do you think of all that? Well, first, I think that's the first time that I've heard the title of the book. That, that's pretty offensive. <laughs> Who the heck does he think he is? Moses? God? Um, yeah, he sure tries to make this all sound so scary and spooky. And he's so still 2008. It's funny because with the price of rent today, it's kind of a pleasurable to know that I've been living rent free in his head for 12 years. Well, first, I think that's the first time that I've heard the title of the book. That, Funny, because with the price of rent today, it's kind of a pleasurable to know that I've been living rent free in his head for 12 years. Michael and I also want to acknowledge, uh... Boy, look what we have here! A transvestite with a keyboard trying to mean Frank in a year! Your voice sounds like a rooster having sex with a frog! They put a lot of lipstick on you, but you still look like a dog! Put down that teacup, honey, go put on some pants in! Stop that little monster seat you had it dancing! You may be Gaga, but you ain't a lady at all! I've seen those outfits you've been wearing, that takes me fall! So scary and spooky. The saying is, I don't think about Sarah Palin. <laughs> but, um, I don't care.